So. No more. I just don't know how this is gonna work. Personally, I'm just. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to, well, I'm gonna attempt to follow someone's makeup on YouTube. I think I have an idea of who I want to do. Who who I want to copy today. Um, when I say copy, I'm gonna do, a I just already know I'm gonna do a really bad attempt. Um, but we're gonna try and replicate of some sort Leah Holton. If you don't watch her, you need to. She's absolutely stunning. So I'm just gonna try and find a YouTube video of hers and I'm gonna attempt to do it. My skin, as you can see, is really bad at the moment. Also, I have got two nails missing because they came off. I say that, I picked them off, but I'm gonna get them done next week. And also my eyebrows are really bad because I need to get them done. Today, um, I was putting on a cup. Oh, I was putting a cup. Wow. I was procrastinating. Forget it, just forget it, don't matter. I was thinking to myself, what can I do to film a video because I need another one up by Thursday to keep you guys in the loop with my life. And I just thought, let's just do my cup. It's actually a Saturday night and funnily enough, I'm not going anywhere because I don't go anywhere. I literally stay in my house all the time. But I thought, let's just do my makeup. It is a Saturday night, Doesn't I don't have to go anywhere. So I'm gonna follow what she does and Uh, yeah, I'm going to follow what she does and hope for the best, basically. And then I'm just going to talk a load of waffle because that's what I'm good at. That's what I do. I've already washed my face and put moisturiser on, so we're good there. Um, also, I've started doing that thing where you put the powder on first. Wait, is the powder on first? Yeah, you put the... Yeah, put the powder on your face first and then put the spray on. So... The powder I use is just the Laura Mercier and then the spray I use is the MAC. Oh yeah, so this girl Leah Holton, she's literally amazing. Every time she posts a video, I'm literally, like I must be one of the first viewers. I'm literally, oh my gosh, she posted, like I'm obsessed with her. You know when you have just unhealthy obsession with someone on social media? Yeah, mine is her. She's actually stunning as well. I think she's my age or maybe... Uh, below or maybe uh, above i don't know this time that i got it threaded because like the hair wasn't as thick okay so i'm so after i put that powder on i've literally got nothing left so i know what i'm asking for for my birthday I spray that over my face until it's dried now my face is dried i get the foundation i have to mix two because i've got wrong shades um so i don't know where my normal foundation is and it's here so this is the one that I've started using at the moment. It's the NARS Sheer Glow. It's actually really good. So if you was wondering, because I know a lot of people talk about it, it is good. But um, <laughs> as you all know, the one we gave me the wrong colour. So I don't use it. Well, I do use it. I just mix it with the Estee Lauder one. But at the moment, I'm just putting the Estee Lauder in the shade 1W2, which is sand. And this one, which is tawny. Um, and then just mixing them together on my hand. Oh my god, it's ran all the way down my hand. So I just mix them together, and then when that's done, I literally I know this is gonna actually give someone anxiety, but I get the brush where I've stuck it in the foundation. And I do apologize about the lighting because I had my ring light on, but it's even worse with the ring light. Like, let me show you. Like, that's how it is with the ring light, and I just don't think... I feel like it's too harsh for... Do you know what I mean? I don't feel like you can see my face and what I'm doing. I mean, it's better for me, because I can actually see what I'm doing now, but I feel like for the lighting for the camera, I don't feel like it's the one. And this concealer is the Revolution one. 
I also use this, the YSL one. Um, it's really good. It's really creamy. The only thing is, if you don't put powder under it, it will just crease like a bitch. So I feel like this, this used to be my colour. <laughs> Look how white that is. Um, but since the UK wants to be all hot, I've got a little bit of a face tan, if you will. So I'm going to go back in with the Laura powder and i just get my damp beauty blender and dip it in and then instead of fully baking i actually like push it in more i was watching the same girl that i was talking about earlier and she said that she pushes it in rather than bakes instead of literally just leaving it like that she pushes it in more because it i feel like i feel like it does work as well like it just stops you from being as oily as usual and it really like just sits into your makeup rather than on top of it and then your foundation just getting really oily and stuff so yeah i've started doing this and i feel like it really does help my skin and being really oily yep so while that sits on my face i just go in with my bronzer which is the hula one i think it's bamboo i swear it's called bamboo because there's loads of bamboo sticks on the side of it i hope it's not called bamboo anyway as you can see i'm hitting purr so I've just realised that I haven't actually been, I've just been watching, I haven't actually been following what she does. Um, but I've just realised that she does eyebrows first, and then um, eyeshadow, then foundation. Also just learnt that she has the same, I don't know why I'm getting gassed, oh my god. But she has the same colour foundation as me, which is Barcelona, but it's not the right one for my colour. Because, I mean, maybe on my shoulders on this colour, but not on the face, as you can see. I think I'll make it worse for myself, to be honest. I think I'll use foundations that are too light. Um, anyway, yeah, she uses this. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Probably gonna speed it up because I take forever to do my eyebrows because they are not done and they just take forever. And then, yeah, we're gonna copy her from now. I <laughs> uh, just wanted to mention, I use the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. The only thing about this is literally, I got it in quarantine and it's gone, literally that's what's left i don't even know if you can see that tiny little bump on the end but that is what's left but yeah i'm gonna do my eyebrows now i had a breakdown not gonna lie to you so we're just gonna continue doing my makeup how i do it and just getting on with my life how can i get on with my life my eyebrows don't want to do what i want them to <sighs> can't wait to get them done because this is actually ruining my life this not having the eyebrows done do you know what i mean it's not for me anyway i'm using the benefit dandelion shy beam to carve out the bottoms of my eyebrows they do it in another one as well this kind of pink stuff it's called shy beam so this are they both shy beam but this is dandelion i don't really know the difference because they're slightly different pinks but honestly there's there's no real difference i just put them under my eyebrows and they do the job of carving them out real well so yeah good job i'm not going anywhere because i wouldn't be going at this rate that's all i'm saying <laughs> not gonna lie it's probably about two hours later um i had a major breakdown and i was like no i'm not doing this i'm not filming it then i was scrolling through tiktok watching tiktok and someone inspired me i don't even know who it was but i was like wow i need to do the rest of my makeup so i did my other eyebrow i don't even do my eyebrows like this anymore this is very year nine year ten kind of blocky eyebrows <laughs> not gonna lie i don't even hate them just did a bit of contour i did it really heavy because on camera you can't see it unless you do a bit heavy so i did it really heavy and i don't like heavy makeup because i just don't think it looks nice on my skin do you know what i mean i don't even know where this video is going or where it's gone but i'm gonna stick a pair of eyelashes on and i'm also gonna put a hair piece in i don't know we'll see how it goes so i'm gonna stick my eyelashes on put my hair piece in come back and probably finish the rest of my makeup because i haven't actually finished three two one okay i look like a peanut head i'm not vibing with the hair today i'm just gonna finish my makeup like absolute peanut head so we're gonna get the mac gentle and soft soft and gentle and just 
wacky time. I feel like we can't like you can't really go wrong. There is such thing, I actually learned there is such thing as putting too much on, but it depends where you put too much, if you know what I mean. I don't know, I can't explain it, but yeah. I feel like I look nice in that mirror and then in this camera. I look like shite. Is that better? Can you see me better now? I don't really know. I'm just gonna fill them in with sandstorm from NYX. Maybe not because it doesn't come out. I'm just gonna put some lip gloss on because it just doesn't ever go right. I ain't feeling it. Oh, it's so heavy, that's the only thing. Can I try and do that bubble thing that people do with their weaves these days? I keep calling it a weave. I actually know it's not a weave, but it's what I call hair that not your real hair basically because I don't give a fuck. I've already fucked it up. If you can hear them screaming kids. <laughs> I don't actually have anything to say about it, they're just screaming. No, I don't I don't feel like this is working. Do you know what I'm not about though? Do you know the vibe I'm trying to get? Like Princess Jasmine? It's just not working. Or maybe you have to pull them out. Oh, I think you have to pull them out of it, don't you? Okay. But the only thing is they're not tight enough to do so. Maybe if I do this last one too around it. Do you get the vibe I'm trying to go for? It's just not working because I haven't done it properly. But yeah, let's take it out. It's not looking good. <laughs> I was gonna say ow, but it doesn't hurt because it's not my hair. I wanna do that plait I did the other day. I guess if you really had loads of times, you loads of time, time, then you could just do a fishtail braid, but that is very long. I and mean, like I said, if you've got the time, then go for it, sweetie. But and then just pull the plait out, you know, make it chunky, all of that, all of that. I'd love to have all this hair. Obviously, if I was going out, I'd do this like proper slick and fix up my hairline with eyeshadow, but we don't have that at the moment. So gotta make do with what we've got. But this wasn't even, a, I was gonna say thank you for watching my makeup tutorial, but this was not a This was not a tutorial. This was me just being a mess. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this. I say that about everything and then I just end up posting it because I'm like, who cares? So, you know, YOLO, what are you going to do? Fuck all. Hopefully next time I do a get ready with me or something along them lines, I'm actually going somewhere because... Corona's really getting me down. Because I'm not allowed to go anywhere. So I don't go anywhere. I literally sit in the yard doing nil. So, that was it. <laughs> On that note, I'm going to bed. It's fucking Sunday and I've got work. How depressing. Anyway, you don't need to know about my life story. So, see you next time. Bye. Pussy, I don't attain. What I need for keeps the silly game we play.